हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर मॉडल टू ऑफ स्टेट प्रोवियट आई सॉफ्टवेयर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन एंड एनालाइज द डोम स्ट्रक्चर द की फीचर्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर आर यूज ऑफ ग्रुप इंडेक्सिंग बीच वी हैड यूज इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर ऑल्सो द यूज ऑफ लेबल कमांड एंड नो द प्लेट ऑरिएटेशन देन अ मैनुअल चेक ऑन स्टेट डिज़ाइन विच कन्फर्म दैट वॉट वी आर डिज़ाइनिंग इज राइट और रॉन्ग सुनाओ फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट डिज़ाइन ऑफ डोम स्ट्रक्चर सो फर्स्ट ओपन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट स्पेस स्ट्रक्चर नेम इट सिलेक्ट ओपन स्ट्रक्चर इज नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट स्पेरिकल डोम ऑफ फिफ्टीन बेस रहा ट्वेंटी मीटर डायफ स्पेयर सिक्सटीन डिविजन मार्च स्पेयर to front view shift down select node 1 copy this node minus 7 Now add beam. Split. Sixteen. We have the geometry of our dome structure is completed. Now go to its property. Define its property. Draw columns. Point four meter. Draw beam. Let thickness point one two one twenty mm. Assign it. support create a fixed support assign it now for load definition dead load post load and dead load we have self it minus 1 factor and dead load means 2.5 km per meter square globally y direction similarly in post load dead load minus 1 global y direction assign it and 
now to see local plate orientation select a plate go to view selected object only go to levels click plate orientation ok apply click ok here we can see the local z direction is upward for the plate select another plate again we check it local z direction upward this shows top of the plate and minus z shows bottom of the plate again display whole structure now go to analysis part add analysis run analysis the zero error zero only go to post processing first here we do and apply load combination first apply load combinations again go to modeling part general load definition load case detail define combination load combination for serviceability according to IS 456-2000 the load factor is 1 again for collapse load factor is 1.5 factor of safety that is add it again run analysis save it 0, zero one in go to post processing mode before design our structure let's see what the, what are the node displacement and share for blending moment in our structure go to summary here we can see 0.373 mm is the maximum deflection in x direction now go to reaction summary 162.162 kN is acting on a column which is enough for a 200 mm cross section circular column but here we had used 400 mm column let's see its design to concrete Defined parameter column cover 40 mm edit beam co beam mm and slab cover 25 mm edit unsupported length in y direction 0.65 Z direction 1 edit edit compressive strength of concrete 20 ampere here we are using 20 ampere edit assign it to our structure Command design beam head, design column head, design slab element head, member type of head, close design beams, design columns. design elements select plate node cursor select all plates assign it
Vamos a un análisis. Zero error de no warning. Go to output file. Here we can see design of all beams. They have minimum reinforcement. No element. Design of slab having nominal reinforcement throughout. Then column. Our columns also have nominal reinforcement. Check out the takeoff. Here we need 21.67 cubic meter of concrete and total amount of bars. So here we have a rough cost estimation of our project. Now for analysis purpose, let's again go to our structure. For analysis purpose, if we go to post processing mode, here we have all the members combinedly in a symbol table. For analysis our structure, we need have to separate them. So go to modeling part. Here now we will generate groups for analysis purpose. generate it first beam sign beams now create four column Select similar columns. Now create for plate. Go to top view. Select that cursor. These are enough for our design purpose. Now close. Now there are two ways to render our design. Firstly, go to design. Here we had assigned design beam, column, and elements for all over the structure. Delete them and again reassign them for our selected groups by selecting select group or the next other way or and better way is that go to our state editor command here we have concrete design design beam design column design element copy this line them so our state editor will not read them now now again paste them now we will edit these beams columns and elements here we have top we are assigning group member beam column and element these are the three groups now we will copy 163 164 copy
now we have it already so we don't need to copy now again 16162 column here we are having columns also need not need to copy it elements copy them paste them save it now again run analysis now in output file we will see only these elements design of only selected elements that we have only two beams 163 beam number 164 now we have column 161 162 so this will reduce our time work and efficiently analysis our structure and design our structure and give us a good form output data which we can analyze easily so from here we can easily also get the reinforcement weight required for each element now in post processing also we have we can select which group we want to analyze like if we want to analyze plates click apply click ok now here we are only seeing groups plates here we will can select the maximum movement in local x the y and z direction now we will know what is local x and local y and local z direction according to the plate click apply here we can see we have very less movement because it is a dome structure and dome structure have compressive force more than the bending force we will go to let us see the shear force diagram zero for shear force because it has compressive force throughout this structure now here we can see the bending moment is stressable for our selected plates let's go to summary Here maximum moment in y direction is 1.976 Again if we want to go to change our group go to again range select beam click ok apply go to beam here we are it's showing only two beams 163 and 164 beams which is easy to analyze now again if you want to see whole design go to start editor click it as a star unstar it save it analyze it now we have output file of our whole structure design so it is the best way to change the algorithm of our structure with the help of a strat editor rather than changing it from user interface which is also a hectic for us now again go to strat editor we will again close them assign them save it analyze it go to output file now go to column design here we are column 61 161 here we can see the length of column cross section we are assigned cover 40 mm it is short column with required steel area 146 square meter 
and provided reinforcement 678.5 square meter longitudinal bar of 12 5 and tire reinforcement of 8 mm dia with 190 mm center to center spacing here we have section capacity based on reinforcement required it is given 1175.14 with interaction ratio 0.21 with reference to clause 39.6 let us check manually the PUZ for required reinforcement and PUZ for given reinforcement that is 1336.08 these are the snapshot of IS456-2000 code which we are going to use in our column manual design So here is our manual design. Here we can see our PUZ for required steel and PUZ for provided steel are matching with the straight pro design. So our design is correct. Now let us check the slab elements. Here it is showing top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement. Top reinforcement 120 square meter mm per meter with longitudinal reinforcement and movement in x direction is minus 0.22 and transverse reinforcement 120 square mm per meter which is nominal reinforcement now for spacing now here we are having top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement now what is top and bottom we had clear it the plate z direction is upward so it is top and negative z is bottom similarly for longitudinal reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement applied in x direction while traverse reinforcement applied in y direction now we can go to editor file so for spacing we will use a simple formula for spacing this is the formula which we had shown before in column design so this is all for design of dome structure, thank you for watching my video.